Okay, I've got two Google Nexus 7 tablets here. The one on the left was purchased when the tablet first was announced in July. The one on the right was recently purchased at a local retail store here in Colorado. They're both the 16 gigabyte models and the one on the left is having some problems. It seems a lot slower than it was when I first got it. So I'm going to run through a couple things and you can see what I'm seeing and if you have any idea what's causing this please let me know. So they're both powered off right now. Let's start by powering them both on at about, about approximately the same time. And you're going to notice the one on the right is going to boot a lot faster. Now the one on the left is unlocked. The one on the right isn't. I don't know that that should make a huge difference. The one on the left does have more stuff installed on it, um, but again, how would that affect this little boot up sequence here? Um, so it's gotten to the point where a lot of apps that I run on the one on the left, I get the app is not responding uh, message and it's become almost unusable. I thought maybe I was imagining it, but then we got the second tablet and I'm not imagining it at all. Um, so you can see the one on the right is already booted up to the lock screen. Uh, the one on the left is still showing the Nexus animated logo. And so we're going to be waiting a little bit longer here for it to finish booting. They both are connected to uh, the same Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, and the internet connection is 40 megabit down, 20 megabit up. Um, I ran the Quadrant benchmark on both of them and the one on the left seemed to get hung up on the file I.O. section although the end result was about the same it took the one on the left a lot longer to run the benchmarks and I don't know what that tells us but as you can see it's been quite a bit of, of time and the one on the left is still booting up does this remind anyone of Windows? <laughs> I mean when you have Windows uh, it takes longer for your computer to boot up the longer you have it Okay. So let's get into the tablets. As you can see, the one on the right looks pretty much stock. The one on the left, I've got a lot more stuff on it. Let's start out with an app that uh, I use every day, um, and that's Google Play. So I hit Google Play on both of them. And actually, you can see I hit it on the one on the left first, but it's already open on the one on the right. Uh, I tried to hit them at the same time, but I kind of fat fingered it. But you can see the one on the right opened a lot faster. All right, so let's get out of that. Now let's pull down the notification tray. Let's get into settings. Uh, you can see uh, the one on the right was faster. I hit it. I didn't hit them at the same time, unfortunately, and the one on the right pulled up faster. Let's go ahead and jump into Google Reader. Let's see, Reader. There we go. Okay, here we go. Boom, you can see the one on the right's already pulled up the list of feeds. The one on the left still says loading. And by the way, they're both signed into the same account, so they're both getting the same feed list. Okay, they're both pulled up. Um, one thing that I noticed that's different here, the one on the right, the icon is different on the feeds. It's, a, it's an older Google icon. I don't know why that is, um, but you can see it's the older blue Google logo. And on the one on the left, it's the newer multicolored Google logo. I don't know why that would be different. They're both pulling the same feeds. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick a feed here. Uh, let's pick tech. You can see the one on the right's already pulled up the list of uh, available items. And now the one on the left just pulled it up. Let's go ahead and open up the whole feed. Boom, the one on the right's already got it pulled up. The one on the left is still thinking.
and it's still thinking and it's still thinking and I'm thinking that I don't like this because the one on the left is my daily driver it's the one I use every day and the one on the right well it's uh, it's new and it works great so I'm sort of an impatient person so I'm gonna go ahead and abort this but you can see what I'm talking about whoops bump the camera there let's go ahead and let's run the quadrant and you can see what I'm talking about there I let's see quadrant okay imagine that the one on the right opened up the program faster the one on the left is still opening the program okay now the programs open on both now I'm gonna hit full benchmark all right, they both go through the CPU section about the same speed. They both go through the memory section about the same speed, but when it gets to I.O., input-output, the one on the left seems like it's hung. It eventually does get through it, um, but I'm wondering if that's the source of my problem. The one on the right is already at uh, 3 of 4, 4 of 4. It's already gone to the graphics test. The one on the left is still at 1 of 4 on I.O. Again, these are both the same model. These are the 16 gigabyte Nexus 7 tablet. Okay, the one on the right is finished. I'm going to hit yes to upload the results, and it says that this device, which is uh, um, the Nexus 7, came out at a score of 3680, 3680. Ironically, the one on the left is still on an I.O. Um, test 2 of 4. It's going to be a little bit longer for that one to finish, and it's going to probably come out with about the same score, but I'm wondering if these this slowness, this sluggishness that I'm seeing I'm wondering if that has something to do with the I.O., the read-write of, of the internal memory. I'm wondering if this one has a hardware problem or if it's so something software. By the way, I apologize for the poor video quality and the poor sound quality. I'm using a digital camera and it doesn't have a, a mic input and so the microphone is on the other side of the camera and that's why it's probably pretty echoey. Hopefully you're hearing me okay. One thing I am noticing is that the one on the right, the uh, Wi-Fi icon is blue and has three bars, and the one on the left is showing total gray, and I don't understand why that is because they both should be connected to the same router. I know it's connected to the internet because it just beeped a minute ago and I, some notifications came through of some, some messages. So I'm not sure what the gray, the gray part of the Wi-Fi icon means. I don't think I'm having Wi-Fi problems. Whenever I run speed test, I'm getting great throughput. Okay, so the I.O. section is moving. It's up to 3 or 4 on the, on the left, the uh, Nexus 7 on the left. And the screen is about to go out on the one on the right. Okay, finally, we got through the I.O. Now the one on the left is doing the graphics tests. I wish I knew what would cause it to be this much slower. It's making the tablet literally unusable for me.
Okay, it's finally done. Let's see what the results are, and it's 3402. Well, that's actually a little bit lower. I tested it earlier before I, I made this video, and it actually was almost identical. So, again, if you have any idea what's causing this, if you can think of any other way to diagnose it, um, I've obviously shown the problem. Please let me know, because this is frustrating. Thanks.